Good morning, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Just going to do the video orientation on your new Cougar Travel Trailer, the 22 MLS. We'll start on the outside here, work our way to the inside. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, 231-736-9162, and uh, we'll start right here at the entrance. First thing you'll notice are the drop-down steps, and um, the steps have a little extension on each side, and you'll want to make sure that this door opening... This door is actually all the way open. Um, otherwise, what will happen is this uh, little bracket right here will catch on the screen door and, um, and could potentially bend it. So make sure the door is all the way open when you're going to bring the steps um, down or up. Next to that is the pass-through storage here. And then you'll notice this is uh, the in-command. This is kind of the brain where all the uh, wires and everything go. There is a description for each of the wires as to what they are uh, but the main reason to show you this is if you were to have an instant where the in command uh, um, doesn't work on the inside you can still bring the slide out in and then also the awning so m1 is for electric motor one slide out m2 is going to be for the awning and then basically this is the execution switch here so you can see for the awning i'm going to bring that out and I am controlling that by putting it on uh, M2 and then that's out and then in. So if you need to manually uh, bring the slide out or the awning in um, to bypass the in command, you can do it right here. So main reason for showing you that. As we walk around to the front of the camper, you do have a power tongue jack right here. The off and on, that is just simply going to be for the light. doesn't pertain to um, this working or not. So extend retract pretty self-explanatory um, as far as getting it on and off of your vehicle 30 pound tanks behind the cover here and you do have a interstate uh, deep cycle battery in the box over to the other side of the pass-through um, you'll notice a couple of cranks here one is going to be for the uh, stabilizer jacks if you need to uh, manually bring those in and out it is a detachable cord that is 30 amp um, sewer hose coil hose this is going to be for the uh, outside shower right there and then on the inside you do have your controls to extend retract that's going to be for the uh, front and rear stabilizer jacks this light right here is going to be for the cap the amber lights on the cap on each side there as we go along this is going to be the cover for your um, six gallon gas electric hot water that is controlled off the in command docking station this will hold it right there again that black coil hose that's uh quick connect fitting for that black tank flush right here if you hook a hose up this will jet out the uh the black tank which is your sewer tank it says right here make sure that the uh the valve is open for the tank um, otherwise there's nowhere for the uh water and sewage to go uh, so make sure you pull that valve open and then right here this is where you're going to hook up uh, for fresh water you can see city, that's the position here. If you want to fill the tank, you'll simply move that lever um, horizontally there. So next to that is a uh, plug-in for solar. Um, if you want to um, do that, is it is a Zamp solar um, plug-in right there. If you want to put a, uh, a portable solar panel on there to help maintain the batteries. As we move along, you'll see the access panels here for the fridge. Really nothing you'll need to do with that. That would just be if uh, you need maintenance or um, something worked on for the uh, fridge there. Then underneath um, here, you'll see where it says black and gray. And that's your outlet right there um, for the uh, black and the gray tanks to uh, discharge out the tube there. This is where your power cord's gonna plug in. Like I said, it is detachable. It is a 30 amp walkable roof on it this uh, does have a 250 pound weight capacity um, behind here this is where you're going to hook up for a satellite or cable tv if you're um, at a park that has uh, cable you'll hook up right there if you have a satellite you're bringing you'll hook it up there as well then you have the uh, full awning here with the led light strip under it two of the uh, outdoor speakers and that's controlled off the entertainment center on the inside i'll show you that in just a second
As we go to the inside of the camper here, uh, we'll start right at the dinette. Do we have storage underneath? The table will go um, right there on the brackets if you want to make that into a bed. You're in command. We'll finish with that, but that is located right there. Uh, Summit TV in the middle, and then your Furion stereo. And again, like, like I told you, it has two different zones. Zone one is for the inside, zone two is for the outside speakers. And simply just select the button there. That is an AM, FM, CD, and DVD player. <clears throat> Moving to the back of the coach. This switch right here, this is going to be for your main lights. Switch next to it is going to be for the bathroom lights. The bathroom does have a GFI outlet, so if uh, you have some outlets that are not working, just check, make sure that's not tripped. Right there, if it is, go ahead and reset it. Foot flush, um, porcelain toilet right here. And then the uh, shower right here. This uh, has a travel lock on it. You can see right here. Simply lift that up to slide the door. So we move along to the um, oven here. Three burner top. Right here, that's your middle three. This on the end is a spark ignition. You can see that, and then on the end, that is going to be the controls for the oven. And then it does have the glass panel on the top here. Fridge, this is a gas electric RV fridge. Turn it on, is right there. It is plugged in, so if we just keep it on automatic like so, that will default to electric because we are plugged in. Um, when you unplug from the electric, as long as you have the propane tanks open, it will automatically switch over to gas. And there are some more operating instructions just on the inside there. I'll turn that off so we don't use up your gas when we unplug it here. Theater seating, options right here, heat, massage, light. They're all controlled right here. Just single touch to turn them off and on. And then right next to that is the handle to recline the seats. <coughs> The in command, simply turn it on. That's the on switch there. Your default passcode is going to be all zeros. So four zeros. It'll bring up the home screen here. You see how we have interior lights? Because that's highlighted, uh, that means it's on. Hot water heater is off. We can do gas electric or gas and electric. To get back, you can just either hit the home screen or just the return. Water pump, you can see that is now on because it's highlighted. We'll turn that off and it gives you the battery status as well. Um, if you want to check the tanks right here, you have fresh tank, um, black tank and gray tank. As those fill up, uh, the, the line will um, get lighter. And then if you want to turn the heat pads on for the tanks, simply touch that. Those are 12 volt and they will operate off the battery. Heating and cooling, rear AC. If you want to switch to mode, it's off. We can turn the fan on, the AC. We can turn the AC on itself. You can see what it said at 78. It's 52 degrees in here. Heat, same thing, set at 78, it's 52. So the heater will actually kick on here. There it goes. And then you can turn it on automatic. This is a cool feature. That way you just set the temperature where you want it and it will automatically figure out if it needs to uh, cycle the AC or the furnace to get to that temperature. One more touch and then we're back to off. Lights, pretty self-explanatory on that. Bedroom ceiling lights, awning lights. Again, that's gonna be the light strip underneath the awning, right there. And then as we go back in, slide outs and awning, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You do have to hold that down. If you want it in or out, you don't just touch it and it won't automatically do it. You do have to um, continue to press the screen. And then after that is settings. Uh, settings, Bluetooth, if you want to sync up your phone to the in command, that's where you'll do that. Wi-Fi, if you want to dial it into the park Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and do that. Time and date, you can set that. Um, on the heating and cooling, you can do a schedule to turn that off and on. And then uh, passcode, if you want to change passcode on it, you can do that right there. So 
that's a general overview of the uh, in command system. And guys, that is the uh, general orientation on your new camper. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. You can again, you can reach me at 231 736 9162. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in a couple days when you pick it up. And I certainly appreciate your business. Thank you very much.